What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I got my brother Vince back over here and we have a little treat for you today. You hear the quail back there? Vincent has never had quail before. Ever, never, ever. I haven't had it in a long time since like a teenager. Um, so what we're going to do today, we have some uh, mature males in here. They're starting to crow, whatever you call it. If you, I don't know if you call, call it crowing for quail or not, but they're starting to do their, their noise. It actually sounds really cool. Um, but they're five weeks old. A lot of people wait, I think between eight to 10 weeks is, is what they wait. But the, these things are getting, I got some big ones in there. I got some smaller ones and some bigger ones. So we're going to pick out a few of the bigger quail and we're going to show you a little bit of processing and even we're going to cook them up in, the, in a cast iron skillet and we're going to have us a little dish. So we're going to bring you guys along. Hope you guys enjoy it. And yes, there's going to be some quail dying today. So if you don't want to see it, fast forward a little bit. Maybe you can watch the cooking part of it. All right. Hope you guys like it. You excited about this? I'm actually pretty excited. Like, as much as I love food, uh, Dutch said this quail's gonna be really good. So yeah. Hey, what's that shirt you got? Oh, this straight out of nowhere. www.recklesssaintsofnowhere.com. Hey, third in the four states area. You guys bid jobs, don't you? We absolutely do. Bid we jobs. Do. Get on that website yeah. and get a hold of you. Absolutely. Actually, call us 918-864-2719. Heck yeah. No jobs too big or too small. All right. So I want you to do. I want you to clean all of these quail for me, and I'll give you. What's the bid on that? There's about fit, dinner there's fit, di that, let's do it <laughs> sounds good these boys work for food how awesome is that and this is these are homegrown quail that's even better no, it's I'm on. okay all right all right now these are my females we're not touching the females vincent oh, and okay. these ones are about three weeks younger than the bigger ones up here okay. so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the three or four biggest quail i already see a couple yeah, over yeah. there and maybe over here and we're gonna go to town on them oh, yeah. um <laughs> see them see here you hear them uh, oh, I actually like that sound. That scared. That actually scared Brandy there. Like, what was that? That's <laughs> like a quail. Seriously. But uh, we're gonna get, we'll do one at a time, um, and, and we'll just bring along with us. So Vince, I want you to grab. I want you to get your eye on one. Get the biggest one you think you see in there, and we'll come back and get no, the next one. They're all starting to look the same. Oh, I see a big one back there. Not see that big one? I don't know. <laughs> they're all starting to look alike now. Yeah, I think this one's just a lucky day. Or unlucky. Yeah, there you go. Look at it. It's a pretty good size. Now, as quick as these grow, another two and a half, three weeks, they'd be a little bit bigger. But uh, we're ready to eat some now, and we're we're gonna get quite a bit of meat for a quail. You don't get a lot of meat from quail, anyways. A lot of people just breast them out, but we're gonna go ahead and cook them whole. It's actually, really fun, man. Okay. This is why I've seen several people how they clean it. I don't remember if this is how we cleaned ours whenever we were growing up, but this I've seen a lot of people just use the scissors and they just the head. About as easy as that, huh? Yeah, I don't, you don't ever like taking. An animal's life but this is what we have these quail for is to eat them and i know a lot of you guys aren't a big fan of this part of it but a lot of you guys you most of y'all understand if you're following my channel you completely understand so let's see here you'll still have some nerves going on so what most people do those get back here They'll cut the right behind the right behind the uh, I don't know what you call the elbow. Cut that off. Get the wings. We'll just grab it like this. Let us tear this off. It just comes right off. Is that easy that was? Come in here, and just cut along the spine right here, and take that spine out on both sides. That just 
comes right out and then you can get in here and get all the guts out. There's a little heart. I'm not going to mess with the livers and heart, but you could if you want to. So it's just like cleaning the chick. There's the lung. It's just like getting the, the process whenever you raise your own meat birds, your chickens. The lungs are usually the hardest part to get out. They actually make a tool for the meat chickens that you can scrape, the, scrape them out with. So you can see that's what you come up with. There's actually a pretty good little bit of chunk of uh, meat on the, on the breast right there. Um, I'm going to go clean off and let Vince get to go grab another one. We'll grab another big one. You take that camera. Alright, let's see what we can't find here. Well, that one right back there in the right corner looks pretty good. Let's see if we can't get him. So I got this one all cleaned up. I'm just going to set it in the ice and let it chill. Um, just until we're ready to cook it here in a little, little bit. So Vince has been hanging around the last couple of years trying to learn the homestead stuff because he wants to, at some point, him, him and Aiden to be able to do stuff like this. Uh, so he comes over as much as he can to help out and learn. And that's what we're going to show him today. It's how to process this. And I don't want it forever. You guys see how easy it was. So I'm going I'm to walk him through it. And uh, that'll probably be the end of the processing. And then we'll go in there and start cooking. And just do it quick. Come up behind him. He doesn't see it. And just do it quick. And just sit there and let it bleed out for a minute. This always happens to me. You see? Yep. Just pull it all off. Really nothing to it. It's pretty simple. Yeah. It's quick too. You said get in there. So you're gonna, he's gonna get in here and cut all the way down the spine on both sides. All the way to the butt. Okay, I did the other side. There you go, now grip that spine out. Come out. There you go. And then you just scrape the scrape it back towards you. Those are the lungs and it's starting to rain on us. Yeah. Is this like the chickens you want to get the lungs out? Yeah. Remember how hard the lungs were getting out? These are actually not yeah. too hard to get out. It's apparently something. Yeah, that's a lot of you in uh chicken. I think this might be my new favorite thing to clean. <laughs> it's easy, ain't it? Yeah. What about this extra little stuff right here? What is that meat bone? Yeah, if you can just pull off if you want. It's like a whole leg bone. Oh, uh, no, I'll leave it there. Okay. So just go rinse it off, get all the feathers off. Did you cut this back part off? Or did it come off whenever you ripped it? Cut that off. It's like the gland on the chickens. Remember that? Right. I'm going to have to pull it up with the other. Let's go rinse it off really good. I'm going to go grab another one. I bet you're doing a good job starting to come on down on the camera. I'm going to go in the garage. All right. What's up, Hadley? <laughs> what are you doing? You playing your game? Hey, I'm eating grapes. You're eating grapes? All right, we're going to eat some quail. You want to try, try some quail in a little bit? <laughs> yeah. Gabby? You don't get any quail. You don't get any quail. Ah! Lily, you ain't getting none either. So here's four of them. And here's what I got going on. I'm gonna make some red, uh, um, what? What's Yeah, it's quail. You can eat some? No. Yeah, Aiden, Aiden, Aiden will try it. Hey, you always eat stuff that I have. No, I thought we were having some spaghetti. You, you guys are having spaghetti, I mean, your dad are having quail. I'm gonna, I'm gonna you gotta try it. I'll Go try one. Okay, you'll try one? Yeah. All right. So we got some red potatoes. I'm gonna make some loaded potatoes, and then we're going to cook some. Uh, we're gonna cook those quails in the cast iron, and then make a nice little gravy to go along with it. So as soon as Vincent comes in with the last one, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna flour these up. It's a real simple recipe, kind of like fried chicken. You might. See. I'm gonna flour them iron, uh, get them nice and nice and a little bit nice and crisp, and I'm gonna stick them in the oven over there at 400 for I don't know, 20 or 30 minutes. We'll see how 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 well it cooks like that.
good. It's bland. There's more salt in there. I guess I probably didn't have to use my baby shaker. So we're gonna let this cook. I'm gonna get this brown on both sides and we're gonna stick it in the oven and then we're gonna make some gravy. And Vince, what are you making over here? Oh, you know, just a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh, looking mashed looking potatoes. potatoes. It smells amazing. Oh, let's close this. Let's get over here. Look at that. Let's put it over here. Oh, nice and crisp. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we pulled them out of the oven like you've seen. I'm going to make some gravy. I'm not going to show you that part. It's going to be a basic flour gravy. And then I'm, we're going to show you putting the plate together and trying it out. Ooh, it's going to be good. The gravy's done. The quail's done. And the potatoes are done. I got Vincent as my guest, so I'm going to let him make his plate. And we're going to show you guys doing that. And he's going to dig into it. You ready for this, Vince? Oh, man. Let's I'm do it. Let's do it. Let's see what we got here. We got some homemade gravy, some homemade quail, what? and some potatoes. Homemade uh, potatoes. Right. What's in here? Oh, there you go. Don't be, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Ooh, that's going to be good. Oh, right here, right here. Ooh, let me see what we got here. Are you folks looking? You watching? This is, this is where it's at. Need any pepper or anything like that? I'll be adding all of that. Oh, oh. that's where it's at, Vince, right there. Wow, what's that big old smile on your face? <laughs> You're pretty excited, what's up, Aiden? Well, to be honest, I've been on a diet and this is like everything against it, I'm excited. <laughs> Talking about diets and we got homemade gravy and fried quail and potatoes. It's all right. I'm telling you right now, good. just by looking tear at this. Tear some of that, tear into that. Oh, Ooh, that, that, just, right that just comes right off. Wow. I'll tell you right now if uh, Colonel Sanders has anything. Mm. Is it pretty good? Hey, you want to try a piece? Sure. It's really good. Try tear it in a piece off. A little bite there. Careful of the bone. Watch the bone, buddy. Easy there. Man, that tore, tore right off, didn't yeah. it? What do you think, Aiden? Is it pretty good? You know what that is? Well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that looks good. Watch it. Just watch. I mean, just, just wow. comes right off. Here's another little trick. You just swallowed the bone. Yeah. There's a lot of bones in it, but it's really good. Kind of just like a little chicken. Yeah. Well, since we're doing this, I gotta eat a piece on camera for you guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and dip it in the gravy right there. Yeah. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> Let's try this. Hot and good. Oh, wow. That is really good. You took the breast? Mm. Man, we should cook like six of them. Dude, you got more out there. <laughs> we do got a whole lot more out there. I don't think them quail are going to be very safe around here no more. Oh, yeah. Hey, Dutch, check this out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch this. This is the breast. And look at that, it just comes right it off. Perfect. It was cooked really good. So hey, you want to try a piece of it? No. It's really good. Some people would use a fork and a knife, but... Hopi, come here. You want to try a piece of quail? It's really good. It is? Yeah. yeah. Favorite piece of that breast. Hmm. Breast? Come on, Hopi. It's really good, sweetie. Try that. I'm thirsty. Let me see. Eat it. It's good. It's meat. You got hair in your mouth. That yeah, looks good. What do you think, babe? One, only one thumbs up? I give or two, yeah. I give you a whole hand. That's awesome. Are you impressed? 
Huh. There's only, there's, you know, there's only enough for one person. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. You can't keep Aiden out of it. And Hope, like, look at Hope. She's licking her thumbs. I'm getting a little mad. This is awesome. We're going to make spaghetti for them, but then they come in here, they're eating all the quail. I'm going to have to start raising about, keep 200 on hand for sure. Hopey, did you really like it? She, look, she said, I want more. Look at her. That's awesome. It's awesome. I First time they've ever had quail, all three of them. Uh, Hadley's not a big meat eater. Hayden usually tries stuff. You want to try Hayden? Hayden doesn't feel like trying right now. I understand that. We won't push it on her, but it turned out awesome. I think you guys could probably see the excitement in Vincent whenever he dug into that. <laughs> Y'all, thanks so much for watching. Uh, we, we greatly appreciate all the support you give us and the family. With all the thumbs up and all the likes, well, thumbs up is a like, and all the nice comments. Thank you so much, you guys. Hope you like this video. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.